Hello Saints! Today we look at what I want to call 10 reasons why Paul taught the pre-tribulation rapture and why the post-tribulation rapture is based on man's religion uh, instead of right division of God's word. Now number one, uh, the first reason for not understanding why the rapture has to happen prior to Daniel 70th week comes from the lack of right division of God's word. Okay, understanding how important it is. Uh, even the Apostle Paul writes to Timothy, 2 Timothy 2.15 and 16, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But shame profane and vain babblings, for they will, they will increase unto more ungodliness. Now, right division is the process of separating God's word into sections. And these sections are based on how God is dealing with uh, different groups of people during different time periods for different reasons. Now, right division involves the entirety of God's word. And it's all the way from Genesis all the way to Revelation. And right division is understanding that the entire Bible is written for our learning and also that only part of the Bible applies to us today, the body of Christ. Now, by not rightly dividing scripture, people uh, place themselves into the wrong sections of God's word. They put themselves in, let's say, time periods that uh, really don't apply to them. Then they apply God's rules during those time periods to themselves today when they don't apply today. And this leads to confusion, contention, and ultimately it leads to the creation of more religions, more denominations, and, you know, all the things that God never intended for man to be a part of. So, for example, not, not rightly dividing, you know, it's created religious sects today, okay? And sects, S-E-C-T-S, -E you know, and they believe that, uh, you know, they have to eat certain foods or worship on certain days. They have to act in certain ways. And they have to perform certain rituals and traditions and so on and so on. They've placed themselves in parts of God's word that was meant for someone else during another time period. Under rules and laws that were meant for reasons outside of today's program, okay, for the body of Christ. Now, number two, the second reason, and, and this is closely related to the first reason of right division, is understanding dispensations. Apostle Paul mentions the importance of dispensations four times in his books. Uh, once in Corinthians, twice in Ephesians, and again once in Colossians. In 1 Corinthians 9.17 For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. In Ephesians 1.10 That in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. Ephesians 3 2 If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you word. In Colossians 1 25, whereof I am made minister, according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Now the simple definition of the word dispensation it is a, dis a dispensation is how God dispensed his administration differently okay during different times throughout the past 7,000 years how he dealt with people and groups differently uh, you know the different rules he established for mankind to follow the different methods God uses throughout time periods or sections of commandments as you know from our study on dispensations, there are seven different dispensations from Genesis to Revelation and beyond, starting with innocence and conscience and human government and promise, uh, the dispensation of law, of grace, which we're in now, and the coming dispensation, which would be the kingdom. <clears throat> now, each one of the seven dispensations is a separate administration, okay? How God dealt or is dealing with people. So simply, he's dealing with us today, the body of Christ, but much differently 
than he dealt with Adam and Eve in the garden, okay? Or how he gave the Israelites certain laws to follow under Moses and so on. He acts differently today than he did back then. Now, not understanding dispensations, uh, of course, leads to confusion and nothing else. That's why Paul felt it, it was important to mention it in his books. Now, let me say at this point, the right, uh, right division and dispensations have everything to do also about which Bible you use as well. Okay, The newer versions operate outside of right division because they add, remove, twist, and, you know, they change God's word into something that God never meant for his word to be in the first place. So using corrupted versions will far remove you from the ability to write, rightly divide. All right. And, uh, you know, it creates all kinds of confusion. And I highly suggest you stick with the King James Version Bible only. Okay. Now, number three, the third reason, not understanding what the word rapture means or where it comes from okay for those out there that claim there's no rapture and it doesn't exist in the Bible again <clears throat> you'll find one of my uh, videos on my channel and it's all about the rapture the word itself why it's used and you know there's undeniable proof that it is indeed in God's Word so let's take a look at that video if, if you will let, let's go ahead and take a look at the video if you're not familiar with the word rapture uh, and why it's used and where it comes from and so on please go through my channel find the uh, the video that says rapture is not in the Bible and take a look at it okay so for those of you that you know say rapture is not in the Bible it, you know the words not in the Bible and there's a reason for that and I think we can all agree that the Bible's uh, you know been translated from one language to another throughout time we can agree on that you know that much at least okay so but parts of the Bible were written in Hebrew then translated to Greek then some translated over a lot to uh, Latin then over to English and it's this process of translations that sometimes causes problems okay if we don't rightly divide God's Word now we know Paul most uh, likely knew how to speak in Hebrew and Greek uh, and probably some other languages. He was a very smart individual and also that his books were likely to, to follow that pattern But we see Greek here in his 13 books and the phrase we need to look at regarding the rapture is this term He used the word uh, Harpazo now. Let's look at uh, How it's used in God's Word. So Paul mentions the phrase three times in his books Okay, let's look at the exact verses that we're dealing with look uh, with me at 2 Corinthians 12 2 I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago whether in the body I cannot tell or whether out of the body I cannot tell God knoweth such an one caught up to the third heaven now the second verse is uh, 2 Corinthians 12 3 and 4 and I knew such a man whether in the body or out of the body I cannot tell God knoweth how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words which is not lawful for man to utter the third verse is in 1 Thessalonians 4 16 through 17 for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel and with the trump of God that means the voice of God not a trumpet and then the dead in Christ shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord now John mentions this phrase catching up in his book of Revelation in Revelation 12 5 and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne so we see the phrase caught up here being mentioned four times three times by Apostle Paul and one time by John in in Revelation so the English phrase caught up comes from the Greek word harpazo and harpazo defined uh, means to be snatched away forcibly to caught away the phrase caught up transferred perfectly with the context of each one of Paul and John's verses okay in scripture the word harpazo is like a thief grabbing a purse he seizes it and he pulls it away unto himself taking it away from the other person or away from something okay so 
where does the word rapture come from? Well, the word harpazo, the Greek word, it, trans, it translates over to the Latin word raptus. And raptus translated over to the English is where we get the word rapture. So, rapture means to be caught away, to be harpazoed, okay? Now, the word rapture isn't in the King James Version Bible, all right? But the meaning of the word is, and I've just explained why. Now, number four. The fourth issue we have to deal with here with the pre-trib versus post-trib uh, situation is not understanding the purpose of God's wrath. In Daniel's 70th week, the seven-year tribulation period, simply explain, uh, quote, the tribulation is for the salvation of the Jewish nation, end quote. J.D. Farag said that. Now, according to right division, okay, according to dispensations, we see the body of Christ only in Paul's books. The mystery of the creation of the body of Christ was revealed to Paul by our Lord Jesus himself. God kept <clears throat> this secret of the body of Christ to himself from the foundation of creation. Now, the first and only time the mystery of the gospel of grace was ever revealed was when our Lord Jesus revealed it to Paul. Then Paul reveals it to the world by preaching and writing his 13 books. Now, since Paul is the only person who wrote about the body of Christ, because the body of Christ isn't found in any other books, all right? Nowhere uh, in his books does he mention that the body of Christ will experience God's wrath. In fact, it's the opposite. The body of Christ is saved from God's wrath. We're exempt from Daniel's 70th week, which is meant for the nation of Israel. It's not for the body of Christ. It's for the Jewish nation, okay? It's for their salvation. Now, that's not to say we won't experience persecution because we're told by Paul that we'll surely be persecuted for our relationship in Christ Jesus. Just go read the, the book, uh, Fox's Book of Martyrs, okay? And you'll see centuries and centuries upon centuries worth of Christian persecution, all right? Even today we're being persecuted and it's about to get a lot worse. So the wrath in the tribulation period, however, is not speaking of persecution for the church, uh, as in the body of Christ. It's speaking of the refining of the nation of Israel to bring them to their knees, okay? Because that's what it's going to take for them. Now remember, God made them partially blind for the past 2,000 years, okay? And he's about to lift that blindness. But... He's going to do it through much tribulation and trials and hard times because that's what it's going to take, all right? It's for the unbelieving Israel. It's not for believing saints, folks. So, and, you know, we'll see more about this in the fifth reason why. Number five, the fifth reason for the confusion about the timing of the rapture occurs when not rightly dividing God's word. It leads to confusion over who the prophecies are for and who the mystery is for, okay? There's, those are two different things. All throughout the Old Testament, the four Gospels and the last books, including Revelation, we see prophets and prophecies, and these prophecies are all about the nation of Israel. Not once do we find the body of Christ in these books, all right? The body of Christ is only found in Paul's books, and that's where we see the mysteries, the revelation, okay? Instead of prophecies shown to the, by the prophets, and to the prophets. So the first mention of the rapture is by the Apostle Paul when Jesus started revealing the hidden mysteries about the body of Christ you know to Paul. So some of the mysteries within the mystery of the body of Christ the, the, the main mystery is the gospel of grace salvation by faith alone okay. Now under that the, the big mystery okay the one mystery uh, are several mysteries, all right? They were revealed over 30 years uh, plus that when Paul taught, okay? The mysteries of the rapture was revealed to Paul alone. That Then Paul revealed it to the saints and, and his books and everything, okay? So prophecy is for the nation of Israel, which includes the prophecies given to Daniel and Ezekiel, uh, Isaiah, Zechariah, and John, and Revelation, and all that which all include the nation of Israel going through the seven-year tribulation period, leading up to the day of the Lord, the second coming of Jesus Christ. And it goes into the 1,000-year reign, the kingdom of heaven on earth, okay? <clears throat> now, Paul was, he was shown all about the body of Christ, the mystery gospel of grace. 
Again, salvation by faith alone. The creation of the fellow heirs with God's Son. Where we inherit the heavenly program. Okay, which leads to the sixth reason. Number six. Another reason why the post tribbers don't understand why the rapture must happen prior to Daniel's 70th week has to do with the parables in the four Gospels. The parables I'm talking about here are... Uh, the ones like the wheat and tares, the dragnet, the ten virgins, uh, the two in the field, one's taken, one's left. These parables are all about the nation of Israel, specifically the nation of Israel going into Daniel's 70th week, then into the 1,000 year millennial reign of Christ Jesus. So, And we see all these videos on my channel again. Okay, you can see uh, there, there's one about the, the wheat and tares, there's one about the dragnet, the ten virgins, the two in the field, and I, that there's probably several other others. Okay, so number seven, the seventh reason why there's confusion over this rapture issue is the mention of the voice of God as being like a trumpet or being a trumpet. Okay, and the trumpets of the seven angels. Again, see the video on the last trump for specifics. I have a video on my channel called The Last Trump. Okay. Now number eight, the eighth reason, understanding who the woman is and who the bride is and is not. Okay. That's another video on my channel. Now the ninth reason, understanding who Paul is speaking about in 2 Thessalonians 2, the restrainer, he who withholdeth and he who letteth. Again, that's another video on my channel that I just made probably two or three videos back. And finally, the tenth reason, the accusation that the pre-tribulation rapture believers just want to live life, you know, the way they want to live today, not worrying about anything, being lazy, uh, wanting to escape God's wrath, etc. Now, the person who rightly divides, knowing that God's word clearly teaches the body of Christ is removed prior to Daniel's 70th week, okay? The right divider knows that the rapture can happen at any moment. And we live by faith and faith alone. We don't need to see prophecies, all right? And the unright divider believes there's going to be many signs before the rapture happens. And they tend to be looking for the Antichrist instead of Jesus Christ. The right divider knows that the prophecies are for the nation of Israel. And the body of Christ has no prophecies. But we're part of the mysteries revealed to Paul alone. The unright divider believes that all of the prophecies apply to the church and they'll see those prophecies unfold before the rapture happens. The right divider knows that they have to be ready at all times, living by faith and expecting to see our Lord Jesus at any moment, living by faith and being ready always. The unright divider thinks they'll have many signs and wonders happen as their proof that the tribulation period is about to happen. And when they see everything unfold and the second coming just about to happen, then they'll get ready because they'll think the rapture is about to happen. Well, the right divider knows that the rapture was a mystery. A mystery kept from the nation of Israel. A mystery kept within God himself. A mystery kept out of the entire Bible except for the books of Paul. And we know the only place the rapture shows up is in Paul's books because the mystery was revealed to him and him alone. The unright divider thinks the rapture can be found all throughout the Bible and was part of the prophecies given to the nation of Israel. Then they believe that when they see the prophecies being unfolded, folded, they'll know that the rapture is about to happen. Well, the right divider lives by faith alone and is ready at all times. The unright divider lives by signs and is looking for those signs to take place so they can predict when the rapture will happen. It's the opposite of imminency. <clears throat> the right divider understands God's truth can discern correctly the things to come. We can understand what the body of Christ is and what's not for the body of Christ. The unright divider thinks the entire Bible is for them today. They combine the rapture with the second coming salvation by works good works uh, repenting for salvation abstaining from foods worshiping on the sabbath and the list is long now finally the right divider knows that the rapture was part of the mystery and is for the body of christ alone it's only found in paul's books nowhere else in the bible the mystery seen only in the prophecies uh, for and about the nation of israel about the seven year period and all about the second coming or in the in the prophecies that the prophets spoke about the unright divider is confused because they know nothing about right division. 
They know nothing about dispensations or how they work. They believe the nation of Israel and the body of Christ are one and the same, completely unbiblical, and it's no wonder they believe in all the rumors and false teaching that come their way. Okay, they're like waves being tossed to and fro. They follow whatever wind of doctrine sounds good, tickling their ears, allowing them to live the life that they want to live according to their gods that they create outside of God's word, okay? Now, I hope you can see the huge difference in these two here between rightly dividing and unrightly dividing and what happens when you don't rightly divide. When you ignore dispensational separation in God's word, when you choose to believe a religion and man's interpretation over what God's word uh, says, what he writes in, in, in his book, okay? I hope this helps somebody out there and I pray that for those of you that are confused about the rapture, learn how to rightly divide, learn about dispensations, watch the videos that I mentioned in this video that are on my channel, please watch all of them and study, okay? So with that, thanks for studying with me saints and um, peace and grace in Christ Jesus be unto all of you and your families and I hope you have a blessed day. See you on the next video.